is up guys? I am the John Gasm and I'm coming at you guys today with another cartoon conspiracy theory. And of course I choose the loudest time of day to start recording. Of course, yeah, shut the fuck up. The conspiracy theory we are discussing today is about one of the greatest adult cartoons still on TV, Archer. Now unfortunately, because I don't have cable, I've only been able to watch the Archer seasons that have gotten put on Netflix. Nonetheless, it hasn't killed my love for the show. The only reason I'm really telling you guys this is because if there's any discrepancies within this theory, I don't know about them. And I want you guys to know that. Though, as far as I can tell, this theory is pretty spot on. So moving on to the theory, today we're going to take a look at what ISIS exactly is and what the agency is about. Now to start off, we're going to take a look back at Season 4. There's an episode where Archer, Ray, and Cyril are all out stranded in the desert. Everybody's really dehydrated, Archer starts having hallucinations and visions regarding his past. If these visions are accurate, and we're going to assume they are because we have no reason not to believe so, we see that back in his youth, Archer was quite an athletic kid who had a lot of promise. Until one day he was shot by an unknown stalker. We also know that his mother, Mallory, was a spy before she had Archer. And because of that, Archer grew up wanting to become a spy as well. But because he was injured by that bullet wound, he had to spend time in the hospital and go through physical therapy. Therefore, he missed his chance to apply to the CIA. Because Mallory, despite being kind of questionable at times, is a loving mother, she wanted Archer to be able to live his dreams. So, she started her own private spy agency, ISIS. Now, for the first couple of seasons, everything is fine. The majority of what ISIS does is like training exercises and surveillance, so nobody really knows that it exists. Sometimes they would also do things against the KGB, but because Mallory has a history with their director, no one notices. But eventually, ISIS starts getting contracts that actually make them real money. Blowing up pipelines, paying off dictators, generally bad guy stuff. Throughout seasons 3 and 4, we actually see that Lana and Ray kind of start to get an idea that ISIS is not the good guys. ISIS slowly starts transforming from Sterling's very own private spy fantasy camp to a very real private spy agency, which is extremely illegal. Which kind of explains why season 5 started out the way they did. FBI kind of got word of ISIS, started paying more attention to the agency, and then raided it. So to summarize this theory in one sentence, ISIS may not be the good guys we thought they were. I would like to thank Reddit user Randrews for his or her awesome take on the Archer universe. I'll put a link to the original theory in the description down below so you can go and check it out. Maybe give Randrews an upvote. That is the entire theory. Make sure you guys tell me what you think in the comment section down below and afterward maybe you can rate and subscribe. And if you're one of the many people who want to have one extra John Gasm every week, make sure you follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page because it is on those sites that I am posting links to unlisted secret videos that only people on those sites will have access to, or at least early access to. However, if you don't want to do any of that, totally cool with me. Just know that I appreciate you guys stopping by. I love every single one of you. And, um, stay fresh. <laughs>